Alright. Note to self, I will split the bond into parts. <laughs> okay, so this this part of the bod will be Okay, Venom Bruce, Immortality Limus. Okay. Go to the realm keeping commission chancery. The house seems to have something to say to you. Maybe he wants you to help with some issues after he witnessed your abilities. Okay, okay. Alright, then we're gonna enter. Hello, Dahao. Since this isn't voice, I'm gonna be reading a lot the lines. Let's go. Okay, the house says, I always feel like we're missing something here at the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery, but I can never remember what. You've come at just the right time. Help me rule out some possibilities. Say, tell me, what do you think our office is missing? Promo materials showcasing the work of the Realm Keeping Commission? <laughs> Not that. I raised this with Jing Yan before. Whether we should be better at promoting how good the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery is at what it does. But she gave me a list of all the things we've done recently, and there isn't really anything to be proud of. Once we crack a major case that even the Ten Lords Commission can't solve, then I'll let the whole exulting sanctum know about how great the Realm Keeping Commission is. Until then, we'll keep things on the down low. Small ornaments that make this feel that make this place feel alive. <laughs> make the place feel alive? Actually I've thought about that. I'm a big fan of alcoholic nectar and once stashed two bottles of nectar of Willow Woods at the Chancery, but of but Officer Jingyan threw them out. She said this is the workplace and it would be undignified if someone found out. I also like pretty foxy and actresses. So I put up a couple of their pictures on my desk to perk up my spirits, but Officer Jing Yan confiscated those too. She said this is the workplace and those images are indecent. The only way the Realm Keeping Commission feels alive is through all the courier pa parcels underground. A Realm Keeping Commission officer who is actually productive at work. Young lady, that remark is uncalled for. At least Officer Jingyan is doing her work. As long as Officer Jingyan is here, then the Realm Keeping Commission lives up to its name. That Songyan kid made me lazy, but he's smart. I have high hopes for his future. Naturally, if anything actually happens to the exalting sanctum, you'll find me to be an extremely reliable officer. Is that really the time to be thinking about that? Yeah, I can't figure it out even if I rack my brain. I think I'll play a few rounds of Celestial Jade after work and think it through then. Alright, let's get down to business. Young lady, what do you want? I heard you require my assistance. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's forgive boys. my forgetfulness. Glad you came. It's great to have one of the General's distinguished guests helping us out. Oh, was this voice before? My realm keeping commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the Dragon Lady. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exulting Sanctum Plaza. Ah, okay, this was the this was the NPC nearby Lu. <laughs> all in the day's work. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. Thanks to the Ten Lords Commission, being stricken with Mara had long since become a terrifying, but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. The puzzling thing is that despite the Commission's protection, we're now seeing an increase. More and more citizens, in particular those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. Moreover, the Mara struck have taken on a horrifying appearance. As if they're turning into some sort of monster. This certainly differs from what I thought I knew about the illness. Do you think there might be a hidden agenda at play? That appears to be the case. No smoke without fire, as they say. Despite being just a servant of the Realm Keeping Commission, spending a considerable amount of time on the front lines has sharpened my senses to potential dangers. You're a capable person. And since the General entrusted you with locating the Stellaron, it's only a matter of time before you run into Mara Struck. If you come across any clues, remember to inform the Realm Keeping Commission straight away. My colleagues and I will handle any situation with haste and to the best of our ability. Speaking of which, have you made any discoveries so far? Select items to submit. Oh. Undelivered letter. 
Oh, an innocent letter addressed home. The author seems to have undergone some experimental treatment. The Hal carefully reads the letter you delivered. His expression reflects his disbelief as he reads it again. The Hal sweats profusely as he apologizes and bolts away. After a while, he returns with the girl. I... I read the letter. I'll be honest with you, I've got no idea how to handle this problem. It's beyond the Realm Keeping Commission's jurisdiction. I contacted the Seat of Divine Foresight, which is overseen by the General. Allow me to introduce Madam Ching Zhu, General Jing Yuan's Chief Counselor. I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. Okay, Ching Zhu. I read the letter you obtained from the Marastrak. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the General's orders. Tracking down clues on the Marastrak. Thanks to your efforts, we now have a lead. To an outsider, this letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the Ten Unpardonable Sins. Ten unpardonable sins. It's heresy. Are you... Are you talking about the pharmacological experiment mentioned in the letter? That's right. Since the Alliance was first established, all medical practices aboard the Xianzhou adhere to strict standards that prohibit long life or mutant modifications under the guise of curing. I went through all our files to find information on the experiment in question and found nothing. I started thinking about how the Alchemy Commission's delve was sealed off. There must be an unspeakable secret locked away there. The author of this letter was likely the Marastruck you defeated. My guess is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. You saw how he ended up. Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand years ago. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. So this quest really is giving us more context about them. They were disciples of the Abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial formula. It's hard to believe that a group that was wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The Seat of Divine Foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status before the situation reaches a point of no return. If you come across any similar clues about the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, come and find me at the Seat of Divine Foresight. These kinds of first-hand accounts are exactly what we require. Sounds good to me. Excellent. Your work will not be in vain. The Seat of Divine Foresight always rewards those who contribute to our efforts. I recently received some intel. It seems that certain individuals are taking advantage of the current chaos to lure in outworlders around Exalting Sanctum. Maybe you could start there? We sent an undercover investigator out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were aroused. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. You are a fresh face in the Lafu, and an outworlder. I would feel more at ease if I could leave this matter with you. Okay, we're gonna look for the suspicious people that is helping us out. Okay, okay. Also... Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna take a picture of um this one because he kinda... <laughs> oh, he kinda looks like a certain VTuber that I will not mention. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you look very familiar, sir. What are you doing here in game? Okay. Okay, one picture is enough, I think. <laughs> I can I can always come back here. <laughs> Danger is practically an inevitability. Take care, and try to stay out of harm's way. <sighs> Such a serious matter. I'm sorry I can't be of much help to you. The assistance is appreciated. Stay safe. I've got a few things to ask. Oh wait. 
I think I can always ask this at some point. <laughs> okay, okay. We can now go. We can now go. Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission if you need help. Okay. We're gonna have to go there. Like a suspicious person. Your star skip mm. service. <laughs> Look no further. Humbling weirdo. Wait, there's a chest. I heard the chest. Okay. Take it, if it's to your. Excuse life. me, guest from another world. Please spare me a moment of your oh, time. Oh no! Do you, you yearn for immortality? Would you like to speak about our Lord and Savior, Yoshi? No, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> you're for power. Do you not believe in the pursuit of eternal life? Perhaps it's because you've already given up on that aspiration. Or would turn down the opportunity to live forever? The Sienjo doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short life species. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. My name is Green Hibiscus. I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One who is also on the road to immortality. Sir, I'm not on the road to immortality. Also, if I, I find it interesting that his code name is a plant. <laughs> Green Hibiscus. What do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Sure, let's go. Let's make haste. There are too many people here to linger. Can't believe I'm talking to a plant. Here we are. This is the place. What are you up to? Relax. By the mercy of Sanctus Medicus, I will not harm you. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I was unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum, but now I can reveal everything. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group, holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one Merciful ultimate Merciful Medicus? Faith. As followers, we refer to ourselves as disciples, dedicated to our cause. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a disciple. But to become a disciple, you must first pass several small trials. Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could be unthinkable. What is this Cloud Knight doing here? No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. Don't the people of the Sancho abhor abundance? Ha! Ah, only those led astray by followers of the devilish archer could despise merciful Medicus. Sadly, there are many such people. Too many. What can I get from Sanctus Medicus? Every species yearns for the favor and curing of merciful Medicus, regardless of whether they have heard of the abundance or not. Foxians yearn to cure themselves of their 300-year lifespan. The Fidiatera yearn to cure themselves of the pain of reincarnation and lack of progeny. <laughs> so am I suddenly being dragged into a cult? My gosh. Yeah, and I didn't even say yes to this NPC. He just dragged me here. <laughs> okay, so Foxians have... Oh, a 300-year lifespan. The Fidiatera yearn to cure themselves of the pain of reincarnation and lack of progeny. As for Sienjo natives, they long to cure themselves of the torture of becoming Mara struck. Of course, we know that this torture is rather a kind of blessed evolution. To return to your question, Sanctus Medicus can cure the aging that short life species face, along with disease and death. <laughs> Sanctus Medicus can do for you what they did for the Sienjo natives. Sir, I do not want to hear about your lord and savior, Yaoshin. <laughs> what kind of trial do I have to pass? What you seek 
you will surely find. Merciful Medicus is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. All you must do is transcribe this copy huh. of thousand-handed Merciful Medicus's salvation 500 times by hand. How long is that, this though? This will allow your brothers and sisters to trust your faith, and you to become a disciple. I forgot what um what series it was, but I did see an episode of uh what I, what was it again? I think it was from Netflix, but there was a Chinese drama that I saw recently, and basically, <laughs> um one of the one of the characters there got punished by through um yeah the punishment given to her was basically writing down something. A certain number of times. I think it was also 500 times, or maybe, yeah, yeah, 100 or 500 times. I forgot, but hmm. this scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a pious heart during the transcription. It would be best if you could memorize the text. Of course, this is but the first trial. Once you have become a disciple, you will undergo numerous others. 500 times seems excessive. Excessive? The old rules dictated that the text be copied 50,000 times. Oh. I myself undertook such a feat. Nowadays, the master takes greater pity on the common people. Hence, the number has been reduced to a mere 500. Oh, wait, I gotta... I wanna see how long that is. Wait. Um, that would be bookshelf. You're in the bookshelf. Where is that? Where is that? I think it's this one. Wait. Yeah, I think it's that. That's the one. Ah. Uh, wait. I think this is the letter that we delivered to the uh, to the realm keeping commission a while ago. Oh. Wait, I'm gonna read this thousand handed merciful medical salvation first. Yeah, this one is this one <laughs> has to be copied five hundred times. Okay. Thus I thus have I heard. Once upon a time the thousand hand sanctus medicus traveled the world with their nine hundred I, no, ni not 900. 99,999 disciples living under Rahu and teaching their way. Juhuda Emanator asked Sanctus Medicus, All living things get sick and suffer. All living things are bonded by birth, old age, sickness, sickness and suffering. What is, the root of, what is the root of all sufferings? Sanctus Medicus responded, Birth, old age, sickness and suffering all end in death. The suffering of the living is found in its limitations. The suffering of the old is about certainty and its survival. The suffering of, of the sick is about the approach of death. Therefore, birth, old age, sickness, and suffering are all forms of death. Death, therefore, is the root of all sufferings. Shuhuda and Manator folded their hands and asked, But well, all living things will one day die and one day be reincarnated. How can they stop being young, old, sick, or in sufferance? Sanctus Medicus told Shuhu, Living things are confined to their bodies like imprisoned convicts so and suffer from those aforementioned three sufferings. I hereby plant the sacred tree to liberate those living beings, so that life is boundless and old age never coming. That revitalizes all troubles are dispelled. Then Shuhu the Emanator recited, The mercy of Sanctus Medicus, the ambrosial arbor's new growth, Disciples shall attain enlightenment together. The mercy of Sanctus Medicus, the ambrosial arbor's new growth. Disciples shall attain enlightenment together. Then the 99,999 disciples repeated, The mercy of Sanctus Medicus, the ambrosial arbor's new growth. Disciples shall attain enlightenment together. As they spoke the words, the 99,999 disciples were liberated from youth. Old age, sickness, and suffering. 
Hmm. Hmm. It sounds really sus to me. <laughs> I can't believe we have to copy this 500 times. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go read the undelivered letter because I didn't. I wasn't able to read it earlier. Yeah. So this this one is the letter we gave earlier. Shalia, Shal, Shalia, Shalia. My sis, my dear sister. I hope you are doing well. It's been more than a month since I left home. All is well. Please do not worry. I have had an infirm body ever since I was a child and it has caused you so much trouble. I left in an attempt to give you a happy life without having to worry about me. Again, don't worry. I won't commit suicide or hurt myself. Because of my legs, I was a burden to our father and brother before they died and now I'm a burden to you. For more than 200 years, he went from, doctor, from one doctor to another and my legs never improved. I only feel bottomless guilt and shame from this. But we don't have to worry about my legs anymore. I'm helping out with a clinical trial for a confidential project of the Alchemy Commission. The alchemist in charge of my section told me that they tried very hard to get the six charioteers to allow for the development of new medical treatments aimed at managing the various chronic diseases that afflict patients for hundreds of, e for hundreds of years on Sianzhou. However, it is a requirement that participants must not divulge any relevant info until the research has made significant progress. So I have to keep this letter in my pocket for the time being. I will send it to you when I have the opportunity to go out. These treatments are indeed effective. I used to need crutches to walk, but now I am fleet of foot. Even though alchemists were amazed at my recovery speed, they said I am a miracle. Actually, the medicine they use is rather weird. I asked the chief alchemist the name of this medicine, and they only smiled and said, This is the, this is the gift of the merciful Medigus. I don't quite understand, and they didn't explain it more. But at least the medicine is effective. That's a good thing. And then there's a strike through here. The strike through lines say that, However, this comes at a price. Every time I take the medicinal pellet, I feel... Sh I feel sharp piercing pain all over my body and my memories get all confused. Okay. The strike through ends here. Let's not talk about these unhappy things. I want to tell you a great piece of news. The Alchemy Commission will give me a lot of money after the clinical trial is over. By then, I will have both a healthy body and a fortune. We will have enough money to buy an inn in a good location. A location near the port in a big city would be the best. That way we can receive tourists and you won't need to work anymore. We'd have money. I'll hire a few people to take care of the business with me. All you need to do is pursue your dreams or do whatever you want in the big city you deserve the best. Looking forward to seeing you again. Awaiting your reply, your loving brother, Xiaoju. Oh, God, this sounds so sus. Oh. Anything that is Sanctus Medicus related won't lead to a good thing. <laughs> so I'm guessing we're gonna have to collect some evidence. Yeah, that's what the NPC said. Oh, by the way, let me drink some water first. <laughs> that was a lot of reading. Okay, now with the hydration out of the way, we can now continue the quest. Wait, how do I even copy the text? Oh wait, I can sit down here. Transcribe! You start copying the thousand-handed merciful medical salvation. This is what, they, what we read earlier. Your index finger has a slight cramp and your shoulders feel a bit sore, but you've only made the first copy. There are still 499 copies waiting to be written. After making the final stroke, you catch the cloud knight in your peripheral, peripheral vision as he gestures at you. Hey, stop writing! Get over here! Wait. What do you mean, get over here? Strange cloud night. <sighs> Took you long enough. I know you. You're General Jingyuan's honored guest. 
Jimmy, I never heard of him. <laughs> Looks like I'll have to make sure no one finds out. Wait, wait a second. You're here undercover, right? So am I. Oh. I'm a cloud knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison. That green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here. To spy on him. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. Why did you come here in your uniform? <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. I wanted them to know I was a cloud knight. Mm. Always know your enemy. What's your next plan? Shh! Keep your voice down! These disciples don't miss much. If they discover us, we won't make it out of here. You can trust me with the transcription. I spent over 150 years pen pushing in the seat of divine foresight before I became a cloud knight. I could do this in my sleep. This is a common practice. Listen carefully. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the seat of divine foresight. Transcribe scripture, yes, let's go. Okay, see Andrew's style scroll on which Thousand Handed Merciful Medical Salvation is written 500 times. Closer inspection reveals the last few hundred handwritings to be different from the first few hundred ones. Let's hope this doesn't get discovered. <laughs> Thank you for your service, sir. Take your time, still your mind, and transcribe the text. Allow the beautiful enlightenment of thousand-handed merciful Medicus's salvation to permeate your being. I finished it. You're finished? So soon? Let me see. Huh. Ah. Huh. Yes, it would appear you are finished. A fast and accurate transcription. It seems you are destined for immortality. So can I join the Disciples of Santos Mendicus now? Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Now, only the second remains. Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. It'll all be over soon enough. Whisker, I'm ahead to bed. Good night, Celestie. Good luck and have fun in the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by, Whisker. Have a good rest. The Disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. So... It's time for you two to battle it out. <laughs> Whoever survives will officially become a Disciple. Why? Huh. Transcribing scripture allows us to ascertain your devotion, but determining whether or not you'll be loyal to the organization requires a stronger guarantee. Sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. I didn't write the rules. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them. You can't just make us fight like this. We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let either of you leave. I... Mm, no. Fine. Fine. But at least let me prepare? I've never done anything like this before. Very well. But you'll need to ask your opponent, too. Can we do a scripted fight, please? <laughs> I don't mind either. Good. Then prepare yourselves. Time is precious. Make it quick. Battle with the quote unquote battle with the strange cloud knight. Listen, I have an idea that will let you join the disciples of Sanctus Medicus and let me get the heck <laughs> out of here in one piece. You and I fight, and I lose I to you. Scripted. I pretend that you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body by dragging me out of here. That way we both accomplish our objectives. Sounds oh, good. Um <clears throat> I've seen your skills. Um, <laughs> please don't mess up and actually kill me. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Good. I know I could trust you. 
My life is in your hands. <laughs> so am I. I like this Cloud Knight's video. He's very expressive. It's fun to listen to him. Yeah. It's, so, have you prepared really yourselves? Are you ready to fight? Let's do it. And you, Cloud Knight? <laughs> I'm... Uh, I'm ready. Then, let's begin. Well then, take this! Enemy targets detected. He has the... I'm just having fun here vibe. But also the... Please get me out of here vibe. Also, I brought the wrong elements. Oh well. It's okay. We'll survive. <laughs> it's okay. Enemy data secure. Netmark effective. Time for good old counter attack. Wait, Wait for the tides. I still have imaginary. Yeah, we can still do this. Just break. We have the upper hand. Ready for another? <laughs> hey, that was quick. What magnificent skill! He was fierce, but no match for you! I'm glad you prevailed. That Cloud Knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hardly a convincing spectacle. I doubt I ever could have trusted him. Purple Chrysanthemum, Blue Peach. Ooh. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. So they're all named after... Roots and Flowers? Let me handle it. Oh? You've dealt with this kind of thing before? <laughs> I have a long-term associate that handles problems like this. A long-time associate, eh? <laughs> You're well-connected, I see. Hmm... This does have its advantages. Our brothers and sisters have been proselytizing an exalting sanctum over the last few days. We may have attracted the attention of the devils. <laughs> Having you dispose of the Cloud Knight will be safer. As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. You take an active approach to getting things done. I'll oh. be sure to pass that on to my superiors. In any case, my hearty congratulations on your admission to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. From now on, you will be known by the code name Grey Peony. Well, Grey Peony, let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. We'll rendezvous at a different location later. Until then. I unwillingly became a member of a, <laughs> of a shady organization. Okay then, you take the Cloud Knight to a safe place. <sighs> <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? Yes, you did, sir. <laughs> Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. I'll be careful. <laughs> How long were you still alive? <laughs> Wait, you, you weren't holding back? <laughs> he stares at your face for a long time before he realizes that you're joking. <laughs> uh, enough with the jokes already. It's a miracle either of us is alive. I'm so glad I chose that option. I should report back to the seat of divine foresight. Stay safe, friend. The cloud knight vigilantly monitors his surroundings. After he's certain no one is tracking them, he makes a swift getaway. It was a fun NPC. Okay, how far are we from the location? Oh. Okay, I can... Yeah, I'll think... I think I'll just teleport here. Should be fast enough. Oh, wait, wait. After some time... New message. Is everything going well? I've successfully infiltrated. I very well know a member. I'm now a member of uh, the Disciples of Santos Medicus. 
Ah, we're reporting to the Realm Keeping Commission. That's good. I've always believed in your abilities. Someone just reported in. Did you see the Cloud Knight? It was nothing. I wouldn't call it saving. We had a successful collaboration. Thank you very much for your help. That Cloud Knight had handed over all his intel to the seat of divine foresight. If it weren't for your help, he'd have he he'd had he'd have had a hard time getting away. <laughs> it was such a tongue twister though. As you've already infiltrated the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, please keep monitoring their activities. Anything I should focus on? I've mentioned before that a cloud knight named Jishin went, went missing a few months ago. I want to know what happened to him, dead or alive, so I can give an answer to his family. Let's avoid contacting each other from here on. If you are seen going in and out of the seat of divine foresight, those disciples are sure to become suspicious of you. Please come back in one piece, otherwise the general will be quite upset with me. Okay, we're gonna go to the... We're gonna go meet up with the... <laughs> with the Sanctus Medicus dude there. Hmm. Well, Amaya, just a thought, but maybe cause fruits and flowers bloom and grow on branches and are proof of life in nature. That's why the code names are like that. I don't know if that makes sense. Hmm, I think you're onto something. <laughs> yeah, that could be. Green Hibiscus agreed to meet me here, but there's no sight of him. What gives? There's a letter here. What's this on the envelope? Ah. Grey Peony. This must be from Green Hibiscus. Grey Peony, you've fully demonstrated your bravery and devotion to us. I'll now give you a chance to prove how loyal and reliable you are to the organization. This mission is of utmost importance and I don't feel com comfortable entrusting it to others. Only a fighter like you can handle such an important task. Yesterday, a disciple absconded in disgrace. She posted the letter as she defected. Based on our investigation, it's an urgent missive to the seat of divine foresight. It shouldn't have arrived yet, intercept it, and help us mitigate our losses. Once you finish this arduous yet glorious task, I will introduce you to the exalting Sanctum's leader of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. As long as so long as he ascends, you can begin your journey on the way of immortality. Green Hibiscus. The disciples sure know how to keep a low profile. Looks like I'll need to help them complete this mission. If they're looking to intercept mail, I should probably start by searching near Exalting Sanctum's Cycrane stands. Okay, go to the Exalting Sanctum and intercept the parcel according to the instruction of the missive. Oh, there's, that's a lot of places. Okay, we'll start here. I know that the places are just near near from one another, but <laughs> there are just so many stairs. Okay, you rummage through the packages on this Cycrine stand, but you don't find the letter you are looking for. Mm, not on this stand. Let's check a different one. Okay, let's go here. Good thing there are a lot of teleporters around. I keep getting lost in San I don't believe in ghosts. Need your extractor clean to your star What's written on this package? Seat of Divine Foresight. Urgent. This is it. The mail the disciples want to intercept. Hmm. <sighs> Seems like it's encrypted somehow. Makes sense. This is critical intelligence after all. <sighs> Let's see if I can crack the code. Okay, investigate. Oh no, it's this puzzle again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay. God, this is. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, it's easy. 
Never mind. <laughs> Code cracked. Huh. It's an internal order from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Judging from these urgent instructions, the disciples are aware of a seed of divine foresight operation to infiltrate their ranks. Mm hmm. <laughs> No wonder Green Hibiscus was so eager to intercept this. I'll use my phone to make a copy and then hand it over to Green Hibiscus. New message. Hey Peony, did you get the stuff? Got it. Where are we meeting? There might be surveillance. Place where we copy scripture. Person in charge wants to see you ass up. Do not reply. Okay, let's go there. Marv Moon, this is the reliable oh. disciple I mentioned to you. So it's not, it's not just plants and fruits. Flowers and fruits. Okay, Mauve Moon. Grey Peony, this is Mauve Moon, the head of our operations in Exalting Sanctum. It seems you have some impressive skills in your arsenal. <laughs> How much can you bench? <laughs> I like this kid. You seem like you've got it all figured out. What brings you to the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? <laughs> um, you're gonna go with the. <laughs> I don't. I really don't want to answer this. I want to gain immortality. Good. Life is a miracle and a blessing. Any futile attempt to forsake it is a disgraceful betrayal. You have been enlightened to the significance of immortality. You have already surpassed those shameful mortals. Here, take this prescription. Through this medicine, you will become like me. You will be able to break the shackles that the devilish archer author has used to chain your soul. You will gain unbridled power and freedom. Do we actually drink it? No. <laughs> the disciple responsible for creating medicinal pellets heard of your exploits. They prepared the prescription for you personally. Some of the ingredients can be purchased at an apothecary. But others will require you to come up with your own solution. Given your strength, that shouldn't pose a problem. Do you have any questions? How many people are in our organization? I don't know. I've heard our members are in the tens of thousands. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has a flat organizational structure. The head of each area reports directly to the master. I know nothing about what goes on elsewhere. The benefit is that even if our enemies were to wipe out the exalting Sanctum branch, it wouldn't affect our brothers and sisters in other areas. Gosh, they are so widespread. Who prepares the prescriptions? That's sensitive information. I know who they are, but for their security, I can't reveal their identities. It's not that I doubt your loyalty, Grey Peony. It's like I said, security. Can I meet the boss? The boss? You mean the master? You'll meet them, but for now there's no rush. All in good time. Keep fulfilling your duties as you have been. I can't believe we're strength, working for them now. You'll have an audience with the master in no time. Okay, then. Why did you join the organization? I'm ashamed to admit it, but I once worked alongside those devils. I trained in spear techniques for almost a century. Mm. I nearly became a Cloud Knight instructor. 
But I was trapped in a weak mortal shell. I was never able to surpass the final barrier that separated me from the martial arts geniuses. Fortunately, the draft of Draconic Surge, the prescription you hold in your hand, rescued me. Once I took that medicine, I became more powerful than any mortal could ever dream of. The Jot of Draconic Surge. That's quite an intense name, don't you think? <laughs> now, everything has changed. Jersene and his pitiful spearmanship are no more. All that remains is a loyal disciple of Merciful Medicus. Jersene? Wait. You recognize me? Where do you know me from? Your face changed when you heard my name. M M Mav Moons, sir. We have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. Idiot! What kind of trials are you running? You let an agent infiltrate our ranks? I, I I couldn't have known, sir. I I witnessed this person slay a cloud knight before my very eyes. Detestable. The devilish archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Self-sacrifice is their way of fooling us into opening our doors. You really got an active imagination. <laughs> Merciful Medicus has sharpened my senses. Nothing gets past me. A pathetic mortal like you could never understand. In that case, divine foresight devil, it's time for you to meet your demise. Okay. Do we still have the upper hand? I hope so, Bella. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't know there would be battles in this um, side quest. Gotcha. Shoot. Okay. We're gonna attack this one first. Then you. <laughs> I'm on guard. <laughs> oh. Nice teamwork. Lance ablaze! Okay, I'm gonna do this. Lance power! Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> do a normal normal attack for now. Okay. And that's one. Okay, good, good, good. I'll see you off. Oh, I don't have enough energy. Shoot it. Okay. It's okay. Our shock is healed. Ow. Enemy data secured. Netmark accessible. Time for good old counter attack. Okay. We can now. Okay, maybe normal attack. Ready for another? When they keep quiet, they come. Then gotcha. You chose the wrong enemy. Okay, we can just kill the buff uh -huh. now. Thanks for the support. Repay. Eternal sleep is not the dead return. There we go. There we go. Lance at the ready. Commencing support. There. Wait for the tiles. Okay, got your time. Come on. There we go. Back there. Do a burst here. Look at the draw. Freeze. And victory! Ow, ow, ow. I'll see you off. Shoot. Wait, wait. Let's heal. Thanks for the support. Enemy data secured. Netmark effectively. Time for good old counter -tack. I'm on guard. Ha! Lance ablaze. MC Bird. Lance Bower. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of 
own damage. Oh my god, no. Repair. Buck the spell, nice. Lance at the ready. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice. Oh, there's a face. Oh, no mercy of Sanctus Medicus. Grant me a body impervious to steel. The courage of a thousand armies. A strength that ten thousand foes cannot suppress. You think you're a match for me, devil? Your death is inevitable. Surrender, and I'll make it quick. Wow, ominous. I'm so scared. <gasps> Come on, Tank. Enemy data secured. Netmark effective. Time for good old counter. <laughs> okay, serves you right. Hmm. can do this one. Oh, crit hit. Okay. <laughs> can do this. The dead returns! I'm on guard. Okay. Just to be safe, let me shield up. <laughs> oh. Receive divinity. Nice teamwork. Repay. Lance ablaze. Commencing support. Ready for another? Win big, keep quiet. That's the gotcha. time. Uh, this sucks. Mm -hmm. Okay, not good, gotcha. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. You chose the wrong enemy. Lance at the ready. <laughs> Nothing major. Enemy targets detected. Do this. Maybe. Wait for the dots. Gotcha. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I've been having bad gacha lately with Jing Chua. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead returns! I'm on guard. And do this. Commencing support. Just do this. Enemy data secure. Hello, Time for good old counter Nice. Extra time. Okay, let's go. And burst. Luck of the draw. Freeze. And... Victory! A miracle. Oh. Okay, okay. I thought it was... I thought it was Cheng Shua he was attacking for a second there. Enemy targets detected. Lance ablaze! Lance Power! Okay. Impair. Nice. There we go. So Mauve Moon was the agent that Ching Zhu lost contact with. He joined the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I should go to the seat of divine foresight and tell Ching Zhu. I don't know if this mission was a success or a failure. So basically, he joined for real, for real. That is so sad. He has been brainwashed. Oh, there's a chest here. Tian. May I ask, have you come here to the seat of divine foresight on any official business? I can help you pass it on. I want to go inside the seat of divine foresight. Could you please wait here a moment? I'll go and report in for you. Oh! I've never been here before. I think this is my first time going here. Wow. Whoa. I love how you can see the skies from here. Wow. Okay. Oh, I 
I love this skylight here. Where in the map is this? Ah! Ah, so... I've been wondering where it was in this map the whole time, so... Oh... So we can enter through here, I see, I see. It's so secluded. Oh, this is Jingwen's chessboard! Yeah! Oh, that's a huge chessboard. This is so amazing. <laughs> this feet is just under the under the chessboard the hologram. Oh. Jing, you you have a fancy place here. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. I wanna see oh. I can't zoom out further, but Oh. I love the design of this building. Okay, let's go up. Okay. Oh, we have we can collect a lot of things here. I'm glad to see you've returned in one piece. So? What happened? Did everything go as planned? Nope. Without telling you about what happened as you worked undercover. Don't worry. Your operation was a success. Although your identity was ultimately exposed, you gained a wealth of invaluable intelligence. On top of that, you managed to get out without a scratch. <sighs> I never imagined that your scene would choose the path of evil. You did the right thing. I'm afraid this is how the Plague's author operates. Using notions of power and life to draw countless people like your scene away from bright futures. Down a path of no return. return. You've managed to shine a light on the darkness of the enemy. With this intelligence, the seed of divine foresight will be able to improve its strategy. And for all your efforts, please accept this reward. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? <laughs> Tell me about the current state of Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. The current state? <sighs> I'm afraid we know next to nothing. We dispatched agents, but they were only able to linger on the edges of the organization. Your operation oh. is the furthest anyone's managed to infiltrate. The Seed of Divine Foresight is still striving to answer one question. Is this but the resurgent shadow of an organization silenced a thousand years ago? Or have they been lurking in the darkness all along? Whatever the case, this sudden re-emergence hints at a hidden conspiracy. It's troubled me deeply over recent few months. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. Did you send a lot of people undercover? Not at all. The Disciples' secret letter makes it sound as if we infiltrated their ranks in great numbers. The reality is that only a handful of agents have successfully slipped into the organization. And the majority of them lacked the strength you had to make it back unscathed after their identity was exposed. They didn't have the wisdom and good fortune to gain the organization's trust quickly. An agent can't actually consume those pellets of the Disciples. Doing so would mean the end of their life as they knew it. I see, I see. The point is, there hasn't been anyone like you who managed to delve into the group's core and obtain so much first-hand information. Tell me about the beliefs of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Thousand-handed Merciful Medicus's salvation is a manuscript transcribed from a sacred text. I don't know where the Disciples obtained it. It likely consists of fragments of banned uh -huh. works from the Befall era. As I see it, there isn't anything particularly alarming about the text. 
It recalls the acts of the Plague's author's warped creatures from an equally warped perspective. The scripture doesn't have the power to lead people astray. They do that to themselves. But it does feed lies and false hope. But the prescription that Jishin gave me. The prescription you acquired is beyond my knowledge. There are a few reliable alchemists that reside in Exalting Sanctum. I'd like to ask you to consult with them on the particulars of the prescription. This will allow the Seed of Divine Foresight to have a clear target for creating an antidote. Given that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has become aware of our operation, it's about time the Seed of Divine Foresight reeled in its net. If you turn up any details about the prescription, feel free to come back and find me anytime. Let's see ya. General Diary 1. Oh, there's a lot of text here. What's on your mind? Did you want to ask about some? I have some questions about the disciple. Ask away. I'll tell you everything I know. Ah, wait, I already asked this. Very well. See you soon. Remember? Can we sit down here? Nope. <laughs> I thought we can sit down here. Okay. Gonna go back. Head to the exalting sound to my ask around for a of draconic surges recipe. Okay. I wonder how long this adventure mission is. And then I quit Alchemist. <laughs> Things you asked me to find you. Explain what's transpired to the Alchemist. The seed of divine foresight? Let me see the prescription. Oh, heavens above. It's a horrifying prescription. And I can't make any sense of it. Go and ask Lady Don Shu. Ah, Don Shu. She's our chief alchemist. She may be sightless, but she's more qualified than all of us. She's no stranger to helping others either. Always prescribing medicine to those in need and free of charge. She'll certainly be willing to help the seed of divine foresight. You can find her at Sinwood Pavilion. That was quick. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go here then. Then we be like, oh, I can't understand this. Then directly um, <laughs> instructs us to go to the <laughs> to the pro. <laughs> Love that for us. Okay, Danchu, hello. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh? You know me. Everyone does. You're the hero who rescued the Vidyadara healer lady in Exalting Sanctum. I heard from other alchemists you have a prescription you wish me to assess. Can you read it to me? Sure. Thank you. you. Read the prescription to Danchu. Hmm. A strange and dangerous prescription, but I believe I understand the pharmacology. It involves drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of ascension. Drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of ascension. Ah, this is the other Eon. The specifics, however, will require further investigation. This will take some time. I could hardly happen upon Vidyadara Bone Marrow and test the prescription myself, could I? Leave your contact details with me. When I've completed my assessment of the pharmacology, I'll get in touch with you. Ah, we're done with the... Ah! We're done with the Venom Bruise already. I see, I see. Okay, so we're gonna have to continue it. Wait, I think we need to answer the message first. Because there is a second part to this. Banshu. 
I have a preliminary understanding of the drought of draconic surges pharmacology, but you're still busy with the troubles in Siandro, right? Right now? At a time like this? No worries, come find me when you're free. Yeah? I shall be waiting for you at the Sinwood Pavilion. Ah, this one! Sinners misled. We then falsified. Ooh, I see, I see. Okay, I think... I think I might need to wrap, wrap up the stream here because it's... <laughs> yeah, because I think I have a feeling this will be... This will be long? Kinda long, maybe? Okay, okay. So, so... So, on... Okay, let me bring up my... <laughs> Let me bring up my schedule once again for next week. We're gonna continue with the Sinners Misled Credence Falsified on... Monday, July 24. And after we finish that adventure mission, we're gonna continue where we left off in the Sianjo Lofu main story. So, actually, I didn't know that we have an option to... We have an option to... Do or ignore these two... The, these two adventure missions that we just got but yeah i'm done with the first one now as you can see but i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do the second one on monday yes all my streams for for the coming week will be will all be on kai star real stuff okay so from july 24 to july 27 that will be monday to thursday all at 10 p.m gmt plus 8 yes and if you're um if you're if you want to know more about myself, if you wanna see what I'm doing in other platforms, here are my other platforms. Oh my god, I typed in all caps. I should sm I should type in small letters. Okay, socials. Exclamation point socials. So I have a I have a YouTube where I post all of my VODs. All my um day 31 to day 35 um Stream VODs will be uploaded as up. I'm still trying to upload the Genshin ones, but yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there. And then I also have a Twitter wherein I just hang out and make some noise. <laughs> and I also have a Tumblr, but um, it's inactive right now. It's just my backup in case Twitter breaks down or something. And speaking of YouTube, I have a separate playlist for my Honkai Star Rail VODs that would be exclamation point HSR VODs. I am also I also have separate playlists for all of my uh, main story stuff. So I made a playlist for Hertha Space Station and as well as um, the Bellabog Yarilla 6 main story. I will also be I will also make a playlist for the Angelo main story, so stay tuned. And then as for my Genshin boss, if you're interested in my Genshin stuff. I have a separate playlist for them too. That would be exclamation point Genshin Bods. You may type these commands anytime in chat. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> okay. I think I think that would be all. See you. See you again on Monday, July twenty-four. Oh my God! It's actually tomorrow <laughs> because it's Sunday right now for me. Okay, July twenty-four. We'll continue the Sanjulofu main story. Yeah, lots of Sanjulofu main story stuff coming up, and hopefully some companion missions too if we manage to. To um squeeze them in. Okay, everyone. Bye. I'm gonna. I had fun with today's stream. I deeply apologize for the for the audio for <laughs> for the audio issues that we experienced during the Kafka interrogation scenes. I'm still gonna figure out how to how what to do with. Them. <laughs> yeah, I might I might edit them or something. We'll see. We'll see. It's gonna take me uh, It's gonna take me a lot of work, but. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> okay, alright, bye everyone. I, it's late now, especially for <laughs> for those who are in the same time zone as me. So yeah, rest well everyone. Enjoy the rest of Sianjo Lofu 1.2. Yes, yes. I can't wait to see what happens in, in the next parts of the story. Alright, okay. Bye everyone, have a good rest. I will play some background music to send you all off. Bye-bye.